Hi guys, and welcome to Letter of the Week Lunches. Today we're learning about the letter B. And B is for butterfly. For today's lunch, I'm starting with a really cute butterfly napkin. Next, I'm going to take a blueberry bagel and cut it in half. I'm going to spread on some blueberry cream cheese and I'm going to place it into my lunchbox in the shape of a butterfly. Next, I'm going to add a few grapes to a skewer and I'm also going to add a couple of candy eyes and I'm using cream cheese to make them stick. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of decoration to our butterfly with just a few blueberries. For our vegetable today, I'm adding some broccoli with some ranch for dipping, of course. To make the broccoli a little bit more appealing, I'm going to add these fun eyeballs. Next, I'm gonna add two different kinds of fruit. I have some freeze-dried bananas, and of course, more blueberries. Next, I'm going to add a few slices of turkey pepperoni, but I've cut them out into a B shape. Perfect for today's lunch. In my little blue container, I'm going to add a handful of bunny crackers. And last but not least, I'm going to add the treat of the day, which is one mini brownie. Before she digs in, I have a few really fun but easy activities for her. First up, I'm going to make her a sensory bin. And for this, I'm going to dye a few different kinds of pasta. This is uncooked pasta, and all you have to do is add a few teaspoons of white vinegar and a few drops of food coloring, and then shake the uncooked pasta around in the food coloring. Then I just lay it out on a cookie sheet and set it out in the sun until it's dry. And now that the pasta is completely dry, Lily gets to play with it. There are so many fun and creative ways that she can play with this. She can practice her measuring, she can practice her color sorting. We can use the different shapes of pasta to learn about the life cycle of a butterfly. She can practice counting and she can make fun patterns. Blue, red, blue. And when she's done with the sensory bin, we can put the lid on and save it for another time. It was really easy to do and it didn't cost a lot of money. Next up, I have a painting project. We're gonna make really cute butterflies, but Instead of using our hands, we're gonna use our feet. It's gonna take like an hour. <laughs> it's kind of wet. All you need for this is some paint. I like to use the washable, non-toxic kind. You'll need a paintbrush, and this part is optional, but I want to put her creation in a frame, so I picked up this one from the Dollar Tree. Now for the butterfly's body, I actually created a printable, and I'll go ahead and link it down below if you'd like to print it out for yourself. Next, I'm going to paint the bottom of Lily's foot. Your kids will definitely need help with this part. And then all you have to do is place your foot down and it's going to look like the butterfly's wings. This was so easy and so cute. This would be a fun project for kids of all ages. Are you ready for lunch? Yeah! Okay, open it up. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.